watch you, watch you, watch you, wow. Do you guys remember? Do you guys remember when the, um, I used to be able to play that song, that fucking the Spice Girl song? That was also the BC Boy song. That was also a Limp Biscuit song altogether. And then they cut, started copyright and strike. And we can't anymore. But uh, those were the good old days. Those were the good old days. How you guys doing today? Um, today is the date, the, the Daisy stream. Doing two Daisy streams in a row. And then Heather's tomorrow. Heather is, uh, I think it's, she's been pretty bleak this week, but we'll worry about her tomorrow. Um, I got I got the stuff here. I got the stuff and the thing. So all the stuff from this week, there wasn't like it does too much. She got arrested, so we'll watch that. Um, let me get it pulled up here. And wow, it's getting pulled up. I will say hello to you guys. Hello, love of my life, Megan. Um, we got Cat Johnson, we got Love, we got, I think that's it, screenshot this, how you doing? Um, so we're almost at the end of the week, guys, we're almost at the end, which is, which is great, because, uh, I don't know, who likes working? I don't like working. Um, I should also probably make sure my microphone's on the right one, because there was a one time, it wasn't. And my, my audio is the worst in the world, but it's, it's on the right one today. So everything, we're all good to go. Um, so yeah, this is, we'll probably actually do this on a 1.5, 1.25 speed, uh, because it's like an hour long, but this is her explaining the cops, like get, her getting arrested by the cops. I showed like pictures of her arrested. The thumbnail is actually like her getting arrested by the cops. I couldn't find the video of that. I have hair in my eye too. I couldn't find the video of that. So if anyone knows of that video and wants to link it, um, let me know. Uh, what else was I going to say? Probably nothing. I can't remember. So it's not that important. Let's get right into it. How could you? All I want to do is go see my kids. No, you will not see your kids. Put your hands behind your back. Ah, I'm going to run away. It was so funny. Okay, so this is what happened. First, we're going to talk about my mom. My mom's name is Susan Davis. She has many gifts and talents. She's a beautiful queen. When my mother walks in the room, all of the heads turn. And this has been since she was a young woman. Yeah. She's used to being the most beautiful woman in the room. And because of it, my mom, you know, like aging is hard for someone who's used to being the most gorgeous woman in the room. And my mom is still very, very gorgeous. But I don't think she knows how gorgeous she is, and I don't think she knows how lovable she is, because if she did, she would let her let you see her your kids. They're not supposed to see that there's a court order against. Is that is she knew she was that lovable? She let you do that. Then she wouldn't be acting the way she's acting and alienating me from my kids. My mom would want to have a relationship with me, and if she knew how lovable she was, she wouldn't be afraid of. If my mom knew how lovable she was, she wouldn't be afraid that something bad was going to happen if she let me into the kids' lives. Because she no, 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 no. I think the words you're looking for, if she wasn't, if she was more naive, right? If she wasn't as smart as she was, if she didn't know me as well, then she would just let me see her, my kids, you know, because I'm, I'm not a harm to anybody. I'm just Daisy. I just hit dogs and domestic uh, partners and um, strangled a kid once, but, you know. They should let me see my kids. She would see that she could handle anything. And here's the thing. I was brought up in a home where there was a lot of violence. So I chose nonviolence like kind of recently when I was in an altercation with a woman at the boardwalk. And I remember like how good that felt because for so long I had like violent visions and I talked to you guys about. It's been raining forever. It's been raining for like, I guess only two days, three days, two or three days for me. When I hit the dog last when I hit Cooper and when I hit Prince and I don't want to be violent. Um, I was brought up in a home that was violent. So I want to acknowledge my mom. She did a better job raising me than her parents raising her. And I'm sure she's doing a better job raising the kids. So then where did the, where did the breakdown happen? And she did raising me and I know my mom cares and is trying. And my mom has a lot of gifts and talents. My mom's an opera singer. And I have a lot of natural talent to thank her for. I can sing and I've never had any voice training. And maybe Does she think like just saying nice things about her mom is going to like let her see the kids? Like it'll change her mom's mind or whatever? Is that what? 
I don't get the approach here. I don't know what this is. It's because my mom is a singer. So I have all this super cool natural talent that's super fun. And that's thanks to my mom. And I remember when I was little, I would always hear her sing opera. And my mom is an amazing cook. She cooks really delicious food. And CRP wants to know if German and Venice is behind me. I haven't seen German and Venice in a long time. Okay. And I don't know where he is. We're talking about my mom right now. My mom is not right behind me. My mom is in Huntington Beach, and my mom is very scared. She needs a lot of love. My mom needs a lot of reassurance. So she can is she scared of you? Oh, what was she scared of? Trust. My little girl Rose wants her mom. My little girl Rose told me that our love's way too powerful. Rose was like, Mom, our love's too powerful. My son Dylan, he's 16. He's my best friend. Kids aren't supposed to be our best friend. No, they're not. <laughs> Why is your... I don't think your son is your best friend either because from like what was said last time, you're like, my son is the enforcer and he makes sure that like no one comes into contact with the other siblings, which would be you in the scenario. So I don't know. I don't, I don't really believe her. But there's something about this boy. He and I are like two peas in a pod. Chris and I are exactly the same. So we bump heads and Chris and I are very much alike. Dylan and I, Dylan reminds me of his dad, and um, Dylan's dad's name is Corey Sabri, and Dylan's just, like, really chill. I really get along with him. He's my oldest. He's going to be 16, and he's so cool. He um, loves video games, and he loves boxing, and he likes shooting. He likes guns, and um, Chris likes baseball. Chris loves church. He loves Jesus. Um, this is the very Heather-esque. She's just going on about her kids. Um, kind of like how Heather does, but way more, I guess, more detail. I guess, like, to give her credit, she knows more about her kids' lives, I guess, than Heather does. Heather just likes to shove her life down her kid's throat, and it's probably not the best of for them, you know, in my opinion. Um, and I don't know my kids, which sucks. I just know, like, some stuff about them. My daughter likes ballet. My daughter loves to dance. She's always dancing. In fact, I want to show you guys my daughter. She's so freaking cute, dude. Look at that. Watch her dance. Dance for me, everyone. Look at that. That's my little girl. Why? This is a video I took of a video. Why? Why did you do that? Does that, like, is she supposed to be posting her kids on social media? It's a video of a video of my daughter. She's so amazing. I love her so much. So this picture is of my mom's refrigerator. So as you can see, it says like Huntington Beach Police. It's backwards. But if you look at it, I want to show you guys what my mom wrote. She says Huntington Beach Police. There's my name, Lindsay Davis. Look, she got my birthday wrong, 10 5 And then she has all the dates when I got there. I was born in 1981. She got my birthday wrong. Um, why what was that was that relevant for like she just has a post-it note on the fridge to call the cops if you come by and she got your birthday wrong um, oh all right i actually really miss my mom and i say things to her like you're dead to me i don't want to talk to you stop the parental alienation this is textbook parental alienation please like let's repair the relationship otherwise like i don't know how i can have a relationship with you and you know when i say stuff like that like I don't want to have a relationship with you. I'm sure that hurts my mom. And that's just not true. I do want to have a relationship with her. I just don't want it to be dysfunctional. And I don't want there to be parental alienation. Yesterday, um, one of my very close friends, um, Allison, she brought me the rocks and her German in Venice, too. And um, Allison is a magical queen. She's the one who took the pictures of me getting arrested. And Allison made rocks. For me and all my kids, I got made rocks, like crack rocks, or just rocks. Got a new rock. It's really beautiful. And then she made my boys rocks and my daughter. So um, I want to show you guys the rock she made, but I'll do it later. So we went to my mom's house, knocked on the door. My son Chris said to go away. So I said, "All right, I'm leaving some gifts." Just like Heather, I'm, I'm leaving some gifts, but just like I'm not supposed to. And space if you want me to leave i'm going to leave i'm not going to stay here if you told me to go so i walked down the stairs and then i waited till my i was going to wait till my mom took the kids to school because i wanted to talk to my mom 
try to figure things out and doesn't the mom have a restraining order too i think jill just said that like um particular daughter is completely adopted by another family uh who all have restraining orders against daisy the mother the father the other adopted son so that family i guess has restraining orders um but i think he said like yesterday that they had like the mom and daisy had restraining orders against her during the wedding so i was just assuming that she's not supposed to be talking to any of these people right Honestly, I just wanted to be loving and offer my love and let her know that I just want to be a life enriching presence. And at this point, my boys are old enough to choose where they live. Like, I'm fully intending on going to get my daughter back. If, if I'm. Well, she convinced or maybe tricked her daughter's dad, uh, another sugar daddy, into signing away all of his par parental rights in a document uh, and says he was just a sperm donor and giving her $200,000. What kind of sperm donor does that? Hey, um, you can have my sperm, and I'm willing to pay you to take my sperm. That seems like a totally legit business transaction. What the? <laughs> how? How did she end up? How does he get away with that shit? I'm not allowed to have a relationship with it. I'm just going to do it through the courts. But my boys are old enough to choose. So my mom can keep whatever money she's getting. I was getting 14000 a month in child support. So whatever she gets from Chris's dad's estate, and then also from the state of California, because when you oh, adopt kids, you get money. Wow. Like she could keep all of that. I don't want it. Kat, you guys found like I had so many requests for me to cover this lady, and I didn't for like weeks because I just didn't get it. And then I saw the moisturizer video, and then I was kind of like, "Okay, what, what's going on here?" I just want to be able to see my kids, and I wanted to say this to my mom. And while I was waiting downstairs, um, the police came. Because when I first saw her, she was just like squawking like a seagull, flashing people um, and running around Venice Beach. So I was like, this is just a crazy girls gone wild woman. Like, that I, why would I cover her? But there's like, there's a lot of lore and uh, soap opera drama nonsense <laughs> that I'm, I'm here for, I guess. This is my life now. There was like a moment where I was like, I'm going to run. So I started to run away from the cops and they both started to chase me. So at that point I had to make a decision, like, because a lot of times if you run, they won't chase you. Like they don't know what You're to do, okay. but they both started to chase me. So I was like, dang, like if I run, they're going to chase me. And then I thought about it. I didn't have my skateboard. I didn't have my phone. So I could have gotten away from them on foot, but I just decided not to. So I started running and then I immediately just went toward them. I was like, all right, fine. So they arrested me and, um, you know, I find out that there's the restraining order with my kids ex is expired, but there's another restraining order for another four months with my mom. So I told the officer, I was like, oh, dang, like, I didn't know. So I was getting charged with a new charge, violating restraining order. And I was just kind of accepting that I have, have these warrants and I have this new charge and I'm going to jail. And um, the cop and I start talking and I just had a heart to heart with him. And I was like, you know. I really appreciate what you do and I honor your work. And I just want you to know that it really takes a lot of courage and fearlessness and compassion to show up on people's worst day. I know that you care and that's why you do it. And, and I just kept kind of talking. We <laughs> had a really nice conversation. So I'm in jail and I get booked. My bail's, um, it was $75,000. <laughs> Jail's fun. You don't have to stay there. Um, so my bail didn't go down, but the officer comes over and he goes, hey, just so you know, I'm not going to give you any new charges. I didn't charge you for the restraining order. And by the way, that's right, Bombay. Two daisies. And I was like trying to figure out, I was like, what, <coughs> what would we do tomorrow? And then I was like, let's just do daisy again tomorrow. I'm just going to say you didn't get served. And here, I'm serving you with the restraining order now. And I mean, I, I believe that if I had not opened up my heart and connected with that officer and really like I just wanted to share vulnerably and connect with him that's it I just wanted to see and know and witness him and for him to witness me and we had a really nice time he was like it's really nice meeting you and like I'm glad I met you and um you know I could tell it's because of my kindness and because I actually care I think you just wanted to end the conversation just trying to find a nice way to get like exit this fucking conversation and he didn't charge me. So that's pretty cool that I didn't get charged because that would have sucked if I picked up another charge. And I have like a bunch of violation of restraining orders. So it wouldn't be that good. Um, 
But anyways, I got arrested at like 8.20, 8.30 in the morning. And I did not get booked until 10 o'clock at night. And I didn't get out of jail until like 1 in the morning. <laughs> and my bail... Does she still have like the videos up on her channel of that too? She's like... There's so many incriminate. She incriminates herself all the time. It's sad. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I was gonna say, like, I don't want like anyone going after her, like how J James. I would give court shit James stuff all day long. But this lady, I feel kind of bad for her. Even though, like, I gotta remind myself, she strangled a kid and punched a dog and hit Prince. But like, I don't know. I, you shouldn't hit anybody. So yeah, that one. $75,000 I got bonded out and um, it's made me kind of like think about some stuff psychologists did all these experiments and they had to stop doing them <clears throat> because in the colleges they were having these kids like half of the students were going to pretend to be the prison guards this is an old experiment she's acting like this was a, a regular thing that happened in all schools and they had to stop doing it no, this is like a one-time thing. Um, and I only I think they like later on they found out that they were actually like influenced to be assholes. So it's not really a viable experiment. I don't know why. I don't know what the purpose of this experiment was. I think uh I don't know, we can look it up after. We'll see Daisy's take on it and we'll compare them, see how accurate it is. The other half were going to pretend to be the prisoners. And if you look up these experiments, they had to stop doing them because people became so violent. And the people who were in the prison guard situation, it's like the second you look at someone and go, hey, you're in charge of these people. It was like the Stanford prison experiment. I could be wrong. That's what's coming up in my brain. I'll look it up. Make sure you watch them. Then all immediately it's a power over dynamic. And then the psychology and the interaction and the relationship begins to change. And it's, it's a different frame of thinking. It's more stressful. Both people suffer in domination systems, which is using power over when someone's in charge and one person has more power and the other person has less. If someone walks up to those same two people and says, Hey, you're not actually not in charge of this person. Um, you guys are here to collaborate together. Could you guys figure out a way for everyone's needs to get met? Okay, great. And then now the power is shared. So in this situation, the relational experience is going to be much different because people are going to be curious and soft and relational because in order to collaborate, you have to like give and attune to and find out what this person is needing because in order for... All right. I think we're past the same for prison experiment. I guess she just wanted to throw that in there to make herself sound edgy. I don't know. But yeah, it is the Stanford prison experiment. I was a psychological experiment conducted in August 1971. It was a two week simulation of a prison environment that examined the effects of a situ of situational variables on participants, reactions and behaviors. Um, and it was Philip Zimbardo who read the, the research team, but uh, critics have described the study as unscientific and fraudulent in particular. Uh, Thibault Le Texier um, he has established that the guards were uh, directly asked to behave certain ways in order to support Zimbardo's conclusions, which were largely written in advance of the experiment. Uh, however, Le Texier's article has been criticized by Zimbardo for focusing mostly on ad hominem attacks and ignoring available data that contradicts his counter argument. I don't know. These guys are fighting each other. One guy says, like, that was all a fraud. The other guy's like, it was a good experiment, man. It just we had to stop doing it after that one time because it was so bad. Um, but yeah, that's what that's what Daisy's talking about. Everyone's needs to get met. We have to resonate with emotions and attune to universal needs so we can put our attention on them. And in a domination relationship, there's no attuning or resonating. It's just compromise, coercive giving, not natural giving not resonating nervous systems um, making decisions together but one nervous system that is hijacked because you have to be in sympathetic in order to narrow your vision and be in evaluating thinking strategizing demanding threatening punishing rewarding mind and then now we're in separation scarcity and powerlessness so if we shift these simple principles and instead of rules and laws we live off principles we'll have a completely different world and instead of the police yeah. showing up this is what i told the cop i was like this is a beautiful opportunity for you to mend the rifts and help my family heal. And by showing up on my worst day, or you're telling me that you care, you're showing me that you care, and you're choosing this day after day because you wouldn't be wearing that uniform if you weren't. What if I told you, you have way more power and skills and tools when you are doing what you're about than when you're doing what someone else is about. And the 
you know, these systems are actually not working and we're able to see that now. So it's time that we rise above. Yeah. What if I told you that? What if me, Daisy, the homeless person you just arrested, told you something? Like, would it change your life? Would it change it? Do I have? I don't even have. Fuck. I got to get the live chat open. I forget to do that every day. And if we can all every be fearless, because in order day. to make changes, we have to be fearless because you need to be able to endure the consequences. Like, I getting arrested um, doesn't happen that much, but I know in, in my line of work, if rules are unjust, I'm not going to follow them. And because I'm resisting the system now, I'm going to have to deal with those consequences, and I need to be fearless for that. I need to know that I've got to be willing to suffer because when I am not doing what everyone else is doing and I'm going against, people people are going to be at odds with me and there's going to be resistance and challenge because I'm going against the flow. And if I want to embody the change in the world I want to see, I must continue to self-actualize with transparency and share my truth, my authentic truth, which is not truth. It's trauma if it's not delivered with kindness and love and care and kindness and love and care. When we say it, it's like, oh, it's just so sweet. We know it. And that's what I'm inviting us into. Like, even after everything that happened, I don't have visions of, like, hitting my mom anymore. The, the kind of stuff I had in me, I grabbed my son Chris's throat when he was eight years old. I'll never forget. Like, right afterwards, I was horrified. And I'll never forget him looking at me saying, Mom, you choked me. And Why is she going into all this again? Like, she already did it in that fucking interview that I thought that she would have been like, ah, maybe I shouldn't have done that. But now she's like, you know, I should go into more detail about it. I should remind people. I should, you know, let the new people know. I strangled my son. I had a dog. I mean, like, at least she's owning her shit, but, like, wh why? Why are we doing this? I was hung over that day. Because she was hung over that day. Gotcha. Gotcha. Just, you know, that wasn't in me. I was violent. And I wanted to work with that. I also wanted to get sober. It took me a lot of years, but it was not through a social worker telling me every month what I'm doing wrong. My probation officer putting duress and threat and fear into my heart and forcing programs. And it wasn't from... The judges shaming me and telling me telling me that I'm bad and need to be punished. Like it wasn't even when they were telling me I was doing a good job. It was from those in my world who saw me as equal, who in the relational experience of, of interacting with each other, with another person in a secure attachment style relationship, that's how I healed. And Forget the thing basically I right now, and this is a call to love. I want to connect with my mom and my kids. I love my mom so much. She's the most beautiful, amazing woman in the world. She's got my same personality. So, you know, we really bump heads a lot because we're both very extrovert. She's incredibly intelligent, just like me. And we have completely different views. Like she's, I'm not Republican or Democrat or into any news. I don't. Uh, I mean, not really. Uh, how long have we been going? 22 minutes, but I don't, we haven't really learned anything. Uh, like she got arrested, right? So um, there's that. But other than that, uh, she's just like, I'm a bad person. And I strangled my kid and I hit a dog. She's just reminding us of all of her terrible things. This is like from um, like around where we left off last time. Uh, I don't know what else to expect. I just know that she got arrested. She went to court apparently this week. I don't really know about what's going on except for in my area because I'm involved in my area. I don't really watch news or TV. My mom is incredibly informed in a lot of things that I don't know. And she's also... I didn't know that. I did not know Heather was live. Last time we tried to watch Heather live. Didn't work. But, I mean... Let's make sure someone's recording that. <laughs> you, you know, just in case she deletes it. So coming from a different background, she's very conservative, puritanical, patriarchal, likes gender roles, Jesus, Trump. These are things I don't know that much about. And I want to meet my mom where she's at and love her up anyways and have a world where we all get to believe what we want and still be together and still find ways to collaboratively um, intermingle interdependently so that everyone is synergistically co-creating, you know, my way is benefiting everyone and and no one is giving coercively. And um, Levi says, God is good. God is great. God is good. Awa, awa, awa. Ala, ala. Okay. Levi, you're very smart. That's what I have to say that. God is good. And God says, no more tabalaka. Okay, that's what God said. Stop that. What is she? <laughs> that face. She's telling you fucking Jar Jar Binks. I don't know what's happening there. Instead, do the bee blue dee dee. 
the bleep blue dee dee a doo doo is when you say, Look how lovely and cute you are. I love you so much. And then that's God. God's like, oh, You're so beautiful and amazing. Look at you. That's what God said. And if you're like, Scalala da blah, that's what we're doing right now. Don't do Scalala blah da. Scalala blah da is like, Oh no, there are ours, but we're not connected. They are separate. That's a lala. We don't want that. We want to do a dooba doo. A dooba doo is like a dooba doo. Oh, you're so cute. I love you so much. And that's what God wants. God wants me and my mom to do doo and boop each other's nose. That's what he wants. And guess what? No, he doesn't. We just have a resonant conversation oh, about our feelings and our needs, a beautiful conversation of the heart. I know that we can collaboratively work through this. I know that my mom probably needs a lot of reassurance before she can trust. And there's a reason she's calling the cops on me. So I didn't know that I was still going to have the cops called on me. Um, I thought we were past that because my mom went to my wedding and talks to Prince oh, regularly. Wait. And on YouTube, my heart uh, is live. YouTube at Heather G. Heather. G. I mean, hopefully she fucking. I was checking Instagram. Is involved in my life, so why would she call the cops on me, right? But she's still calling the cops on me, so I want to understand what needs of hers are being met by calling the cops, and I want to care about that. And instead of condemning her, telling my mom she's doing it wrong. Nah, she did. She gave us like a half hour live stream um, that was streamed one minute ago. So it's not live anymore. Uh, she was live. And I guess we should be able to download that in like, I don't know, an hour. She keeps it up. Maybe I should. Do I have enough room on my phone? I don't know. Someone should grab that. Uh, if you can, if you can record it, I don't have enough uh, memory on my phone to record it. I downloaded Grand Theft Auto Vice City <laughs> on it. Um, I really hope James doesn't come back soon. Jesus Christ. I want to let her know she makes a lot of sense. Of course, she's calling the cops on me. And I want to let her know that that's the wonderful, most wonderful thing she could be doing right now. Because in her stage of developmental learning and growth, that's where she is. I'm calling the cops on me, getting me arrested. Making my friends have to spend all kinds of money to get me out of jail freaking sucks you know thousands of dollars that could have gone to my tiny home and i would much or, or my kids you know like oh, if i'm geez. borrowing that kind of money from people and i don't even make money so if i'm doing that then i'd rather try to hustle stuff up and give it right to my kids right a few thousand dollars I'd rather just send that right to my mom so that's my wish even though i want to understand her world why what needs of hers are being met by calling the cops and watching me get taken away in the metal bracelets that's why i never hell yeah they are. i've been traumatized by those metal bracelets so many times yeah my mom did not get enough affection growing up and i used to have to hug my mom and grab her and then i would feel her melt but i could always feel like this kind of constriction and like i'm not lovable enough and my mom is so lovable and my father and her had kind of a hard time and she got divorced. How much, uh, does she say anything else that's any, like, uh, anything? I think she's like talking to circles at the point. We might skip it, skip ahead. Well, I mean, I just go to the next video. Skip a bit. Ahead. I'll, I'll let her go a bit. I don't know. If Jill, if you've seen this, let me know if there's any other. I mean, she already said she had the dog and Prince and the, I don't know. Did the cop show up? She starts crying. Okay. Okay. We'll keep going when she was young like early 20s and mid 20s with three babies in three years and my mother had my grandfather the family pedophile raise her and um she had it rough she needs a lot of love and affection and i wish i could give it to her but if she does not want my love and affection and does not consent then i can just offer it to her and let her know that i'm here to love her up and i try to really understand her like yeah, yesterday I was, I think I was so hurt yesterday because I really wanted. Well, it's already sped up. I can't speed up anymore. People would be like, ah, it's too fast. To talk to my mom. And I was just really hoping I could try, try to just make things a little better. But she didn't want to talk. She just wanted me to get arrested. So that really sucked. And I think you got to like go through the proper things and not just decide, okay, today's the day I'm going to see my kids. Um, and people are going to feel bad for me. And this is just, this is how it's going to happen. 
don't do that and then maybe we'll get better results yeah i'm just just saying it makes me feel a little scared to go to my mom's house <laughs> because of what happened so i'm probably gonna dying. have some people when i go back yeah. down there next week just drop gifts off my mom told my friend allison that we could bring by what? some gifts like she made these rocks and <clears throat> my son chris his birthday is on april 16th so her mom divorced her dad then married him about two weeks before he died and stole her kids whole inheritance turning them all against her the mom like the mom divorced the dad and then remarried him two weeks before he died and then stole the inheritance is that what i'm understanding or we're talking like they divorced divorced for 30 years and then right before he died they got remarried like remarried right this isn't another guy so that's fucking crazy why did he agree to that so i'm going to go bring in some gifts and you know all i can do i guess what makes me i feel okay though like i'm mourning but you know i have a lot of like acceptance for the That's situation i know that i'm powerless and over others and i'm doing what is in my power which is to just keep showing up loving offering my love and care to be a life enriching presence and ask how i can support um, that's all. JT, thank you for becoming a member. And my oldest is going to turn 16. So when Dylan turns 16, he's going to have a car. And the universe told me that Dylan's going to come back in my life soon. Why is everyone in these weird scenarios, why is there always a Dylan involved? You know? There's always a Dylan involved. So when my older son comes back in my life then maybe I can start seeing my two little ones because if he's driving around, I'm sure he'll be giving rides to the other ones and it's like just a couple of years that I have to wait, maybe. So I'm so eager. And my mom wants nothing to do with me, so I'm honoring her space. I'm not going to force my mom or anyone uh, else to have a relationship with that's me. Sad. My kids are another story. I'm their mom. And I believe that my boys and my daughter are being alienated from me it's like Heather with 311. Like her case with 311 is closed like a billion times, but she still kept like trying to get somewhere with it. So there's no hope. Like the case is closed. Like so she can't do anything. Like she's lost her kids at this point, right? Like what else can you, what else could she do? And that I'm being enemy image to them and that they are scared and need all kinds of reassurance before they can trust. And I really want to mend the rifts so that we can repair the ruptures in the relationships and help to build bridges and that's really what i was hoping instead of the cops taking me away in metal bracelets i really wish that they would have just gone up to my mom and said something like hey your daughter is really hurting and she wants to acknowledge any pain and suffering that she's caused because she understands that her her pain and suffering is like not the, the only pain and suffering that's going on and your daughter really wants to ease everyone's pain and suffering, not just her own. She really misses her kids. Do you think that we could all sit down and have a discussion and you could talk about what you're feeling and some of your desires and longings that would help to support you? And then your daughter can share the same. And Okay. So she got mental help. So like they, it might, it's like a maybe if she got mental help, but she never, yeah, I can't see her committing to that. Like I could see her trying to like, hijack it and turn the the fucking thing i don't know what it would be into <laughs> she's like okay we're not going to like listen to the counselor guys we're gonna listen to me the counselor was gonna listen to me now um i really wish that i had been able to have a conversation like that with my mom <laughs> but um really by shack like i got taken away in metal bracelets and then i went to jail it was the most boring time out in the world um, and this was the most fun time yeah. in jail. You guys want to see, see my mugshots? My mugshots are kind of funny. I had a big, huge smile in my mugshot. So let's see. Israel Peterson keeps writing mom. Why do you keep writing mom? Okay, cool. I miss you. Okay, I'm just joking. Calm down. Be nice, you guys. Be nice. Electra is a bot. 
AI Oh, there's Electra. Why are you doing Electra? Hi, Electra goddess. Bum, 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 bum. Electra, you want to be the mod? All right, I just added you as moderator. It's going to pop. Whoa. There we go. I made you moderator, Electra. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, Electra, if you want me to take you off, I will. Gordis, how's it going? So, anyways, that was up. So here's what I want to tell you guys. Come to the beat. I'm giving away $33 million pieces of art to bless us all. And my work is worth $33 million because ah. tons of YouTubers come when I'm filming. Right. That's Fuck what I say computing. the pieces worth. And then I it so that I can it so everyone gets blessed. Because I don't sell the pieces at all, they're automatically worth $33 Blah! Okay, I'm trying to get the I was getting the eclipse video up, but it was being evil, evil. Cat Johnson, thank you for becoming a member. Um, here, let me show you guys this. Uh, her dancing on the um, the, the things during the eclipse. Whoa, whoa, we were. Give me one second here. Whoa, no, 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 no. Um, is it gonna resize properly? Maybe, maybe not. Never know. Um, here, give me one second. We'll switch it to this. And we got to be patient. Patience is a virtue. That's the thing I say nowadays. Because it's true. Okay, here we go. I don't know if we can play this. Can we play this copyright? What if I just play it really quietly? I mean, I guess we don't really need to hear the music because I want to, I can't keep pausing it. What are these things? Is this, um, play please. What is this thing? Like, or is that a shovel? Is that a, it's got a handle on it. Oh, is that a wakeboard? Um, you know, when you go wakeboarding or what is that? Ski, skidooing, skid, what's a wally? Surf, not surfboarding. I think it's wakeboarding. Is it like a wakeboard nandle? Um, on a trash can with a coat? Is that a fur coat? What kind of coat is this? An interesting coat. She's doing yoga. This is weird. Where's the eclipse? He's in the trash can now. Wait, what the fuck is this? Why is she? What if she fell? And like, this is how Daisy dies. Like in her old age, she's gonna be like seventy years old trying to do this shit. She's gonna just fucking fall off the trash can, and smack her head off the pavement. She's gonna be more crazy for a bit. Try it again, and it'll be game over. Jesus Christ. Um, are the trash cans like some? No, he's she's wiggling and wobbling. <laughs> For some reason, I'm having deja vu right now. What is like um the point of this? Is there music still happening, or is, it, is she talking? Nah, it's still music. Okay. Um, are we gonna watch this for 11 minutes? What up? What else happens? Okay, he gets intense. More music? No music. Some music? Is this Grasshopper Steve? I'm so confused right now. That's it, just dancing like morons. Okay. Let's see how it ends. God. <laughs> I wonder who made that music. He's got like turntables in it. And it's it. 
All right. Oh, that was fun, guys. What crazy. What crazy kids. Kids these days, you know, being crazy. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, where are we? We're oh, not there. That's the one we're just on. We're on this one, I think. We're going to skip this one soon, though. Let me pop this back. Thirty-three million. Back, and back to Cali. Cali. That's what's up. So come to the beach, and I'll give you a piece for thirty-three million. Guess what happens if you Google my artwork? Google spits out. The he tries to teach her trash. So I mean, he tried to teach her trash. Okay. <laughs> technology can be manipulated if everyone chooses that this piece of art is worth thirty-three million dollars. Like, you know, worth is just what someone's willing to pay. So come to Venice. And when people reach out to me and text me, if you want to connect with me, text me, uh, 310-433-6496. I don't really answer my phone that much, but if you text me, I'll get back to you. And you can think of it as a call to love if you need empathy or a communication coaching. I don't give any advice or therapy. I just help people get in touch with what they're feeling and needing. And I don't really claim to know anything or teach anything. I, I believe that each of us has the wisdom for us. Right. So I just like to help people get in touch with that. And also, I really care. And if you guys are attracted and drawn to me as a person, and if what I say resonates with you, and I'm not talking about my outer beauty, I'm talking about my inner beauty. If my inner beauty appeals to you, I don't care if my outer beauty appeals to you, but if my inner beauty appeals to you, especially my girl squad, girl squad, I freaking love girls so much. Yeah, do you? All right. Uh, let me see. I mean, we get the gist. I mean, we get the gist. What else happens? She goes, yada, 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 whoa, 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 whoops. Conscious to change them. But if we shame people, people are going to get defensive. They're going to um, either swing into self-righteousness and attack, or they're going to hate themselves and feel shame and depression. And none of that helps anyone. What really helps us is courage, fearlessness, a care for, for oneself, a care for the whole, a longing and desire to learn and grow and to have that mindset. A mindset that's curious and ready to take in new information but curious. these shifts happen with love and togetherness not with power over and control bruce wayne says the animal kingdom is extremely violent bruce wayne batman's in the chat and pain has long proven our greatest teacher yes but we're not in the animal kingdom anymore scorpion says australia is watching you daisy oh, you're so much australia you're so cute thank you for having polar bears and thank you for the kangaroos um Patrick says God is in control. Yes, Patrick, and you are God, and I am God. And yes, we are in control. We're creating everything. We made this. That's why I lost my kids. All right. There is like a, a short video. I don't know what this is about. Let's see what this one's about. And here's Dylan's rock. What the fuck? Does she make or does she make these rocks or her kids made her rocks? This is a rock with well, Dylan on it, but what the fuck is this? It looks very fancy for a rock. I love it. It's so cute. It's really cool. Look. Look at that. That's it. Yes. Okay. Like, that's a game controller and something else there. A gun? A game controller and a gun and a, a laptop. All right, all right. That's pretty fancy. She make that? She made that for her kid? It says Dylan. See the little gun? Dylan likes guns. So cool. And then he's got a little remote and a computer. My son likes guns. Dylan. I love my son. I love you, Dylan. You're so sweet and cute and handsome. Dylan, my sweet, sweet. I love you so much. Okay, this is for Chris. And I also made a really cool one for um, German in Venice. And, I, and she made one for Fabian, too. This is for Chris. Oh, a fan made these? A fan made rocks for her kids? That's kind of weird. Oh, yeah. She, well, she was saying something about that. Allison? That would make sense. Okay, this, this is Al Allison Rocks. Goddess Allison Rocks. That's kind of a pun because of the, their rocks. and Chris. So, Chris, his religion is important to him. He loves Jesus and he loves baseball. And, isn't that beautiful? for Chris and then let's put this in here okay now this one 
Does Daisy broke? Why does he break her rock? These are for the boys. So they wouldn't take their stuff yesterday, so I'm going to have to have someone bring it back over. Here's the other one. Look how cool. And I love this because instead of just writing Daisy, she wrote Daisy the Venice Healer. I really like that. She included the word the. And I like the, having the word the. <laughs> Daisy the Venice Healer. Look, she has flowers because I love planting and candles. And look, here's my rug. And the rug rolls out. It's really cool. I really love it. So, um, Rhea wants to know, is that tiny house? That's not a tiny house, Rhea. These are my beautiful rocks. They're from Queen Allison. So, I met King Sweet who I've been spending all my time with lately. And King Sweet Sweet and I are very similar. We're Where is she right now? She's in. She's inside somewhere. We're both really good partners and really caring, and we, it's just really easy to hang out together a lot. So that's what I've been doing. All right. Well, I love you guys. And Allison, thank you for the rocks. Thank you, Ria. I love you. You're so lovable. It's really true. And you have incredible... She has crazy eyes. The craziest of eyes. Gifts and talents that I want to know more about you. All right. I love you guys. Thank you, Allison, for the rocks. The boyfriend from Arkansas's house. Okay. Okay. Um, then she walked on Grasshopper Steve's back. I don't know why. In some square video. I don't know why it's like this either. Grasshopper, feel your body begin to relax. From top to bottom. Tell your forehead, I love you. Relax and feel your eyebrows melt. Go to your temples, I love you, relax. Your cheekbones, feel them raise, I love you, relax. Your jawline, I love you, relax. I had a dream, your neck, I love you, relax. Beautiful. We're gonna get copyrighted, that's, that's okay. Your shoulder, I love you, relax. Your collarbone, I love you, relax. I love you, relax. Think about how lovable you are. Beautiful, just like that. You're doing it perfectly. In fact, there's no right or wrong way. Beautiful. Keep breathing, grasshopper. Follow your breath from the top of your lungs down to the lowest lobes of your lungs. Fill the of Eli sacs to capacity with prana, life force, chi. Sniff at the top of your breath. Expand. Feel the beautiful. Right on the right. There we go. Prana infused. <laughs> I had to skip ahead a bit, but like this is what this is what we got going on here. He sounds like he's dying. He sounds like he's dying. There's a dog? What the fuck is it? What are we watching? <laughs> what the fuck? How has she not killed someone yet? No, but seriously, how has she not killed someone yet? This is Daisy. Uh, um, she's a homeless lady. <laughs> no, she's not even walking on him anymore. She's gonna like do a body slam, probably. All right, 
let's. She's gonna kill someone. Okay. She's just like bouncing on. Like, what the? That's not gonna. There's no way that's healthy for your back. Right, I think we get the gist. Like, I don't think that anything else happens in this video. I don't know how he put up with that for 43 fucking minutes. 43 minutes. That's insane. That's insanity. All right. So this, this is uh, this is the last video from the week. Um, what? This is 36 minutes. So I'm hoping that it's like, I think this is like after court or going to court. Or at court, I don't know. That's what I call a court date. Mm. It's called a levolution. <laughs> it's so fun. Hey, when when you did that, this is why I need a puppet. I need like a Barbie. So if I had a Barbie, so this would be a Daisy the Venice healer. <laughs> and she would have my, it would be, it would have my hair, so it would be Barbie, Barbie Daisy to the Venice Healer with the Barbie Daisy to the Venice Healer hair in my outfit, and it would be so pretty. So this would be me talking, and then I would be the other one. So you make a lot of sense. Of course you did what you did. Who was she talking to? Is she like... Pretending to be people talking to her, or is usually what's happened? But it's not about what happened. I'm wondering how you feel right now, and I'm wondering how you felt. And I also want to know what needs were being met. What needs are being met right now while you're telling me, and what needs were met when you did that? That's important. I want to know. Tell me. By the way, you're lovable no matter what. But I was so angry. And how could you say I'm lovable? I'm filled with shame. And all I can do is think about what's wrong with me. And I having shoulds and have tos. And I keep thinking about what's wrong. Of course. You make a lot of sense. And what are you telling yourself? I'm telling myself that I'm muck. Oh, yeah. And muck must feel stuck in like a pluck of luck. Like muck of the Pokemon? What the fuck is she talking about? What the fuck is a muck? Oh, muck's so yuck. I can't even imagine what muck is like. <sighs> I mean, he's like a goopy, gobbly looking thing. It's made out of sludge. So muck looks like sludge. Oh, is it okay if I like pat your shoulder or would you prefer me to touch you in another way? Or would you like to not be touched at all? And is, does this feel good? How we're having a parallel discussion? I really want to support you right now. So you could tell me more. It hasn't been safe for me to tell people what's alive with me. Every time I tell people anything, all they do is keep tabs on me. And then they save it for later. And they just use that information to hurt me. I have not been able to trust people in the past. And why should I feel like I can trust people right now? Uh, you know, like, I would always get punished. And everything I said would be used against me. So... I'm going to need a lot more reassurance before I could be honest with you, Daisy the Venice Healer. I don't care how good looking or bouncy your hair is. Yeah, yeah, that's well, that was the thing. Super Squad, I do want to build more trust with you. And I want to give you all the reassurance that you need. I wouldn't be able to trust anyone in the beginning either. And I'm actually 
dazzled by your courage and your fearlessness to talk about it so vulnerably. I love hearing about your fears. It really helps me to know you more. And when I know your fears, it also tells me your struggles because those are the reassurance. She has like actual puppet shows, like <laughs> real puppets. Like where we've been hurt before, that's that's where we're having trouble trusting others. You know, you make so much sense. And um, this interaction and experience with you is helping me see a lot of myself and heal myself too. What's it like to hear me say this to you? Whoa. You know... DTVH, uh, it's okay. That's like, I, that's Daisy the Venice Healer. DTVH. I don't know why she's her calling herself that. I've never seen that before this week, the DTVH. Maybe that's just an old thing, though. I'm not I'm pretty new to this lady. If I call you that, DTVH. You're like my new best friend. I feel like I could tell you anything. I was, I was brought up in a home where I had these hel helicopter parents, like on my mom's side and my dad got divorced. So on his side, it wasn't a helicopter parent. On his side, I, no one ever knew how anyone felt. No one ever talked about feelings and everyone just kind of brushed it under the rug. But in my mom's home, like it was always like, well, what are you doing? And did you do this? And it's like, you had to really be on edge. And, and at my dad's home, it was completely different. So I learned like different survival techniques. Hmm. Sounds like your mom was more disorganized attachment style and um, things were really volatile. And so is the this water bottle supposed to be like her therapist? Is that what's going on? What is she on? Um, she's on she's high on life that you had to be on hyper you alert know? and always pay attention to what the caregiver's nervous system was doing. Because if you were not, not super in tune with what this nervous system was up to, then you might be in for a load of suffering and hurt. So you really needed to know how mom was feeling and what was up for mom and make sure that mom's needs were getting met and your needs like did not really come up in this environment mostly. Am I getting that right? Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why, what's with these voices, bro? The fucking voices. One. And I'm guessing your dad uh, was a little more on the anxious, preoccupied side. Or perhaps he was dismissive, avoidant. I can't really tell from what you told me. But what it sounds like is no one really ever talked about each other. She, <coughs> she got arrested, but she got out. So, like, this is her now. Not, not well, out of being arrested. Uh, she tried to see her kids because this was it's like Heather. She's trying to see her fucking kids. She's not supposed to. Everyone's got restraining orders on her. She's like, we're going to do what we want anyways. What each other was scanning. Uh, no one really knew. Like, you know, every once in a while, um, you know, something might have come up, but you weren't really in tune with what this person was feeling and needing. It was just more conflict and rupture and i'm wondering what that environment was like and if you guys were able to repair things or did you guys just brush under the rug what if i just start doing this like remember i told you we just brushed it on the rug what if i just start doing this mountain dew can i just be like well mountain dew can what are we what are we gonna do now what what are we gonna do now and he's like, I don't know. I'm really scared about life and stuff. It's, it's pretty bad out there. And I, I, I don't know. That's okay. It'll be okay. Like, what the fuck? I don't know. And, and while she's being, where's she being driven to? Arkansas? Arkansas for the new boy toy? No one ever talked about it. Uh huh. So. Yeah, we're not even, we don't even live there anymore, Amy. We're, this is where we live now. Look. There's just there's just guitars back there. That's it. That's it. That's all. And uh Mamma Mia. This is Oh yeah, nope, I gotta put this back up. Whoa. 
Jesus. There we go. This is how it could go if we did a call to love. So I was, so that was a puppet show. I don't have a Barbie yet. But pretend this bottle of water is a Barbie. And the Barbie has the same outfit as me and the same hair. And Barbie's like, Of course she does. Oh, of course she does. I'm, I'm Daisy the Venice Healer, here to save the day. Here's my lasso of love. Now all you can do is think about how lovable you are. So I'll have like a puppet. No, I didn't move. I just don't I just don't fuck with that room anymore. <laughs> That's Daisy. Let's go to Goodwill and get a Barbie. And I need flip-flops. When I got attacked, my flip-flops were thrown. And my bong was broken. Oh, is that why she doesn't have shoes? Because her flip-flops were thrown and her bong was stolen. Or her flip-flops were stolen and her bong was broken. She's a right song. She could write a song about all this. The you bong know? and the weed was the biggest part. He destroyed the temple and chased me and scared the crap out of a whole bunch of people at the beach. For me, it was just exhilarating. I'm pretty fearless. Um, Jesus is driving. But, dude, all I could think about was my weed, too. You don't, they broke the bomb. You don't break the bomb. Right? He needed a call to love. So in that moment, that was not up to Daisy the Venice Healer. Daisy the Venice Healer was not there to love and go with that super squad member we needed somebody else like he actually needed another dude who another could dude. like kick his ass or fight back because he was like just oh okay so this was like remember last week when she was like Ugh! she went she where was she that this happened santa monica i think she went to venice beach it was like i got attacked in santa monica nobody helped yeah oh, only the enforcers came um and i don't know why she expected anyone at venice beach to do anything about it i think that's what she's referencing here you know when you're fighting a woman like and you're a dude like you know those kind of guys usually run away when the guy tries to fight them and i've seen it <laughs> i've seen them they run away and sometimes they'll even run away if the girl fights back they'll get scared so that just proves, and I'm not saying that this person's like, oh, ha ha. Like, no, I'm saying like, oh, that's kind of cute. Like, it really is just a call to love. And that means it really does just come from fear. That underneath all this rage is, is fear. And why else would he go from fighting? Okay, but like, Shrek, would you rather look at this or the Gala sisters makeup? I mean, there's different levels of bad, right? I think... I think this is like the Goldilocks zone. I think we can work with this. And okay, now he's running. So what are the other tactics? Like freeze. So we go into freeze. And fawning. Like, oh, no, no, no. Okay, okay, I'll do whatever you want. Like, so fawn. And then the other the other sympathetic ner nervous system response is actually fucking. That's why people in jail, when you get, when you get arrested or when you're in jail, a lot of people get really aroused because you're hyper mobilized so i want to talk about court i'm going to court does she even have a court case it'd be funny if she didn't even have a court case because he, he, I, or is this the for her violating the restraining order um because she the cases are closed and westminster courthouse And I'm going to do a speech. I'm excited about this speech. I'm not available to be judged, judge. And I've had this judge before. He's kind of hot. I'll say, judge, you're a joke. Throw down your cloak. And what? The judge is kind of hot. I don't think. I don't think the judge is gonna fucking entertain her bullshit. Really, the judge is kind of hot. It's underneath your superhero. Is that a cape? Oh, no, those are the rippling muscles. They go all the way down to the flanks. Gorgeous. No one can tell when you're up there on that bench telling. This isn't gonna work. This is, justice is blind. All right. No one gives. A shit. 
telling everyone else your unsolicited advice and evaluations. I don't care if you say they're neutral, they're not. They're based off of your preferences and who you are. You're judging me with joke. Really, to me, I'm a subjectivity. Here's a boop on your nose. Boop, boop. Because we're way too lovable for this. It's called domination systems. And domination systems emerge in a power hierarchy and it operates like uh, this. Well, all right, is my computer going to kill itself? Hopefully not. Can I say that on YouTube? Um, so she's just she's just going for activism to yell at them. That's a beautiful plan. It's gonna totally work out well. I can see, I can see it now. The compartmentalized information that is available to me is only to the sense, to the spectrum of my authority, and it doesn't go out of this tiny boundary. So I only know about this part of your journey. And sorry, not sure what will happen to you after this. It's up to us. Do we get to see who's driving? I liked the fucking, I, 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 I like the water bottle puppet thing better than, I don't like your singing. I don't really like Disney singing in general, so. Nah. Whoever's in line after me, this is a conveyor belt. It's like an industry. And I don't consent to this anymore. It's not lovable. It's not for you and me, Judge. So no, I'm not a felon. I'm a friend. And in your world, you can believe whatever you want. And I'll join you. And I'll say, oh, and I hear that in your world, I'm a felon. And I hear that in your world, I'm bad and need to be punished. And I totally love you. And I totally love your world. And I'll meet you exactly where you're at. I don't expect your step one to be the same as step my step. One. That would be silly. I want us all to be super duper lovable and get squished because we're so squishy. I want us to be hugged because it's better than being drugged. And I want us to be high fived and slap clapped and fist bummed because I don't want metal bracelets preventing that. And screw you and your pepper spray. Your eyes are way. Probably like arms or ankles. I heard on. Um... MTV one, I think it was MTV. They were like, if you're a Gemini, it means you have really nice ankles. I think that's a lie. I don't think <laughs> what are even nice ankles? What is a nice ankle? It's a fucking ankle. I don't, it's like foot fetish. I don't get foot fetishes. It's a foot. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. It's weird. Strange, strange world we're living in these days. A too twinkly for that. And excuse me, you have an electrocution device at laser you want to put on me? You're electrocutifying enough. Look at your dazzling electrocutional phantasmine expanding personality. Half of those were words. Half of those were real words. In fact, your electromagnetic field just proves you're electrifying enough each and every cell in your body carries 0 0.03 volts of electricity everybody knows that 0.34 volts of electricity times 50 trillion cells that's about 3.4 trillion volts of electricity you're like a sun what are you doing with a taser so Everyone in the courtroom, make a pile of weapons. I've already arranged for this. Guns go here. Pick up a skateboard in the other room on your way out. Tasers go here. I already talked to you about your personality. You don't need this. Same thing with pepper spray. Eye gazing works way better. Is this a metaphorical thing or is he, she telling Buddy here to go take some skateboards from a place they're about to go and put the tasers over here? I don't know. Well, I don't know what the fuck's happening here. It's all about connecting in case you can't tell. So get your batons and your lassos and your OCPD issue nunchucks and put them down. Katanas, bow staffs, size, not sure what you carry or whose squad you're on. It's about a love evolution now. It's about us 
expanding a at least you comes up with new words love illusion love a love illusion like um a fucking digimon maybe a pokemon maybe both maybe she's uh breaking new walls here how come heather doesn't do anything fun like this i think we have to write to heather and be like you <laughs> you gotta figure your life out man um if you're gonna make content at least cross boundary line making life more wonderful one life at a time. Biodiversifying, meeting the needs of all species, acknowledging our incredible power, if you please. What are we, what are we, what are we now? Super squad, super squad, super squad, unite. That's how we rise and become superheroes. Honoring the superhero in me honors the superhero in you. Opening my heart's gonna open your heart even more. We could do this super squad, it's up to me and you. Step down judge jury come come along sheriff's deputies you guys have been doing enough notice you're all men you guys have been doing too much you're not even where is the goon buffoon's current location is she in jail i call it the gallic crock pot where is crazy daisy ah i don't well this is the last video this was a day ago i'm pretty sure uh when was the eclipse yesterday no that was on monday yeah, that was Monday. Um, wait, was it Monday? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Well, she's here. This is where she is. She is, um, I think she's just outside or chilling, or maybe with the uh, Arkansas boy toy. I'm good at multitasking. Time for the women to take over now. Relax. Women love multitasking. Women don't operate in a hierarchy of power. We would fight too much. We become bitchy. We need collaboration and empathy. We're emotional beings, and... I can kind of get behind that. Exchange all your weapons or skateboards. I have a skateboard. We talked about this. We're really great at nurturing. Sit down, man. You guys fucked everything up. You keep being at war and imprisoning people and shit. Stop it. I'm sick and tired of this shit. Domination systems. They they work in a power of hierarchy, compartmentalized information. So if it's in a... That blob, blob is lob. Lob is lob. That's yeah, that was the closest thing Heather came to like a, a thing. But that was already made. She was angry. She was angry that gay people were like loving each other, basically. Love is love. She's like, why is this about gay people? I was like, calm the fuck down, Heather, you crazy woman. Power hierarchy, then what does everyone do horizontally? They compete. And we are brought up knowing that we're in these systems and we raise our children for obedience and competition. You will be obedient and you will compete, my child, because otherwise you will suffer. And if you are a man, you are a provider. And if you're a girl, be hot. That's what it was like in my family. I don't know what the girls and the guys were programmed in your family, but these are called roles, gender roles. Blah, get them off me. I'd rather be limitless and all powerful. Have you guys seen Limitless? Limitless is a pretty cool movie. I wish I could have drugs that were limitless. Limitless amounts of limitless drugs. I don't think it exists. Mm, it's, I'm so much hotter that way. Fuck yeah. I don't want to be like, oh fuck. I want to say fuck yeah. For every oh fuck, I want to say fuck yeah, fuck yeah, fuck yeah. Say fuck yeah. Drive safe, Jill. I love having you here. Um, Yeah. Take care, and I don't know. I don't think there's much left of this. So I shouldn't have any. Shouldn't really have too many more questions. Ah, we got like 15 minutes. That could be a lot of questions. I don't know. It'll be a mystery until we meet again. <laughs> so I'm going to the Westminster Courthouse. I have my loudspeaker. No, I don't do OnlyFans. I don't even commodify my YouTube channel. I do not monetize. I don't commodify. If you guys want to give me money, then look on my YouTube channel and donate to GoFundMe. I thought you were going to be like, send me a super chat or something. Donate to GoFundMe, though. How much is your GoFundMe? We'll pull up your GoFundMe after this. For my tiny home vendor cart so that I can spend the night at the beach and be comfortable. There's only $350 in there. We can't do anything with that. Um... You know, so yeah. But besides, yeah, yeah. Did you know 
I don't know if this is even a fact. This might be like when I told or lobsters were immortal. Lobsters aren't immortal, by the way. If anyone ever told you they were, and if that person was me, they're not. They're not immortal. But apparently, there's no French word for limitless. So like limitless in France is called the man with many abilities. It's a pretty shit name. It's, uh, I'm not going to make anyone watch ads. You will never watch ads on my channel. I'm not monetizing it. If I do monetize it, someone else is going to do, be doing my YouTube channel and handling everything and videotaping me. In which case, then I'll just have my own private YouTube channel that I can just journal and do FaceTime with, or I'll upload it and you'll have. Actually, I don't know. Then I guess I'll monetize. Fuck that, though. I don't want ads. All right, I haven't figured it out yet, but don't be mad at me if someone starts. Ads are what makes the world go round. What? What is the like? I don't even understand what the issue with that is. Ads are supposed to be like um, tailored to you now. I mean, they're not that well, but um, I need to know what new products are available to me. I'm not gonna like. How am I supposed to know what new shit is out? You need ads. Ads are they? They're necessary. Um, I'm very pro ads. You know. You know. But, like, uh, what's her issue with it? Capitalism, probably. How do you want to get the message out? YouTube won't promote your videos if they aren't monetized. I mean, like, they, they might. You're a pretty sought-after person, so maybe it wouldn't matter. But, like, I don't know. It's odd. I don't understand people who have, like, I assume she needs some money? Actually, no, I don't know. Heather it doesn't make any sense to me. She doesn't have, like, anything fucking monetized, at least from what I can see. And she needs money. She's always asking for money. To Daisy's credit... I've never seen her ask for money. So I guess money, she doesn't give a fuck. It's monetizing because I actually want, you guys are my fans. So maybe one of you guys want to do this. I'm, I'm going to post an ad for someone to do love the office. Follow me around, film me. One of my speeches went viral. I was at DPSS, um, Department of Social Services. And I did a speech a couple of days ago and it went viral last week. So, um, if people film me, then like, you know, I do viral stuff all the time. Do viral stuff all the time. It's just no one's filming me. I'm glad someone was filming me that time. So I'm going to be posting, um, right now, German in Venice will stay up all night doing his editing. German in Venice. We'll spend hours and hours. Is that? Uh, I wish I had the tip or tap or what you've had or like doing. Stuff. I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to get it. Stuff and like creating videos. If I have other people editing and posting my videos for me, I have so much content. Like they they could be monetizing. You don't edit anything. Why don't you just post everything raw like you're already doing? Let's try to see this guy. Um, where is the ball? Where is the ball? Is it there? I can't fucking see it. I can't see my eyes, guys. Um, okay, I think we go from here. I don't know. We'll have to slow it down. And if it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. Um, Let's see what Daisy sounds like super slow. German and Venice will stay up all night doing his editing. German and Venice will spend hours and hours. there we go um this is arkansas boyfriend jill is gone so i can't get confirmation but we're gonna say it is until uh I, i'm told otherwise um or just a man driving or maybe this is german venice i was excited oh, no at least uh perfect prince was objectively attractive right like i don't know i'm not into guys but this guy just kind of looks like um who does he look like? That Wings of Redemption? That's who he looks like to me. Or uh, Mr. Potato Head with a beard? I don't know. Uh, let me put the speed back to normal now that we've seen this man. Bum, bum, bum. There we go. 
hours like, doing stuff and like creating videos. If I have other people editing and posting my videos for me, I have so much content. Like they, they could be monetizing my channel and doing it all for me. And, and then if I have someone coming out and videotaping me, like maybe it can be the same person doing everything. So, um, yeah, the person driving me is Emperor Sweet Sweet. And is Emperor State New Brunswick? That's, that's what I heard. I don't think that's right. It's one of my kings. Mm -hmm. He's the person I've been spending most the majority of my time with. Hmm. So, Cords, you want to do it? That's what's up. Cordes is going to do it. Super Squad. That's what's up. Yeah, it's the Arkansas King. They know Arkansas King. Okay. Yeah, this is the Arkansas King. Which king you are? Yes, this is my king from Arkansas. Um, so. No, this is just some, this is Daisy. She met President Reagan when she was a little kid and um, she was an escort until she wasn't. And then she lost her kids and now she's homeless. And um, there's probably some other stuff, but that's just like the brief rundown. That would be amazing. <gasps> Ozzy! love you so much, Ozzy. Ozzy, you're so lovable. Ozzy, here's a boop on your nose. Boop. Boop. It's the most lovable boop in the world. You're surrounded by tingles of love. Your eyes are shining brighter and brighter. Your eyebrows are becoming fluffier. And your eyebrows are soft. Well, I, I guess because... She has a little crack shack, and I guess she ha she can stay with one of the the kings, but she doesn't like have a lease anywhere or anything, right? I don't think she has like, well, maybe because like, oh no, but they're divorced. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with Prince's crack shack place. Often mean, and they're so blissful, and your your brow line is smooth. So we only get wrinkles <laughs> when we're like, what the fuck. But we don't get wrinkles if we're like, of course. Oh, you make a lot of sense. You make a lot of sense. So I have not had Botox or fillers or any of that since like before I lost my kids, like over six years. But yeah. I used to joke about people getting Botox. Like if you get too much, you gotta be like, cause you can't make a face. Frown, smile. So you just like say the face because you can't make it. Mm, smile. Oh, frown. <laughs> so. Is that what people with Botox do? That's, <laughs> that's something. We, I mean, may, that's that's the life. Maybe that's appealing to her. Maybe that's why she's homeless. She just loves this shit. She's like, maybe that's like, she's like, I must be really important to like not have a fucking house or a plan or anything and guys just like pay for all my shit no matter what it's kind of like james soroka it's like a J yeah, james heather they're all the same they're like fucking grifters basically that i don't know there she is entertaining so like but she doesn't want to monetize her shit it's weird it's weird it's not like that but when you're in bliss like you'll smile but you won't ever get smile lines even because your skin will always be filling with collagen and colostrum is actually made from colostrum. of lactating women. I have colostrum that comes out of my nipples. I just affirm it goes all over. I just affirm it's in my skin, collagen, oxytocin it just floods in my body i affirm it all the time i upgrade my body i become in touch with every single body part this is what i want you guys to do i'll do it for you relax your face relax my face i love you i love your face how can you relax your 
face when you're listening to this shit. It just makes my face make faces automatically. I can't not make it. But let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try it and not make a face. We'll just have to think of something <laughs> crazy. Relax my throat. I love his. I already lot a lot. Okay, we'll try again. Relax my shoulders. I love your shoulders. And then you could do like a little voice after. This is how we heal. So the new earth. I did it. I did it. That's long enough. We'll be like, we're going to get humans to like want to do different stuff. We'll be like, instead of doing bad, we're going to do good. And putting our energy into doing bad means we're using power over. Putting our energy into doing good means we're using our power with. So when we put our energy into doing good, it means when we show up, when something happened, we respond with the most amount of love and the most amount of care, which means if, and the least amount of force and the least amount of control. So that means if we use force and we show up, did she just die? What the fuck just happened here? She's like shut down. Her battery died. So like pretend, pretend like I'm the person who's upset, and then this is. Why the fuck? Did the lip, what is this? Lip balm? TVH. Or the mascara she's putting on her eyebrows. Ah, I'm so violent. Of course you feel violent. Emergency hug. This is a power pose. What? How dare you try to hug me? Oh, oh, of course, of course. You don't want to hug? Um, of course you feel angry. How can I support you right now? Ah, I'm so violent and angry. I'll fight you too. I don't want you to fight me, but I know why you want to fight me. Someone fought you. I get it. I love you so much. You're my teacher right now. Just show me how to love you. Eh, don't come near me. I hate you. You're just like everyone else. Look at you. You're the worst ever. I know. I know. I know. You're the worst ever. I know. I know. I know you think I'm the worst. Look, my friends are on the way i hope you like my friends better than me i was the first one to show up this is a call to love i heard you were really violent we got rid of enforcers there's no more cops there's only hugs that's all i got for you is a hug and i'm crying because i know what it's like to be violent when you're violent you don't know what else to do it's because everyone else has been violent to you Oh, I wish I knew who said that to you. I feel so protective right now. How could they do that to you? Uh, no, they did do that. They did. The fuck is this? They did that. Yeah. They did that. You don't care. Why would you care? Uh, you make a lot of sense. <laughs> I don't know. This is like the best part of this video. I'm just crying because they did that to me too when I was little. It just happened to me too. And it makes so much sense. Look, my friends are here. Look, we're all here right now. Well, let's all have a. Ah, oh, the water bottle's back. I thought the water bottle would talk like this, though. I don't know. Cry puddle. Well, let's all cry. Ah! Look. This is what's going to happen to you guys if you don't. um. Follow my advice. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I don't. She's something, isn't she? Something. Smoke experts cringing. Of course, you're cringing. You're cringing because in your home you weren't allowed to cry. You're cringing because in your home you weren't allowed to cry. That's why you're cringing. You make a lot of sense. Your cringes are welcome, right? Someone probably cringed when you cried. That's so messed up. Can you imagine? All you want is a space to wallow. 
like a sweet little piggy in the mud. Getting all of the mud between your sweet little piggy toes. Maybe even in your sweet little piggy nostrils. And just getting that wonderful warm. Maybe the mud's cold. And you just roll in it. Have a sweet wall and just <coughs> cry. Blah. No one ever let you do that. They probably cringed at you too. So of course you're going to cringe at me. It's not going to stop me crying. Not, not going to stop me from telling me how lovable I am that my feelings make sense. Of course I feel how I do. Of course you feel how you do. Of course you feel how you do. I love you so much. Who are you talking to? Talking to your phone? Talking to the mascara? The water bottle? This fucking Arkansas king? Arkansas King. That doesn't really fucking jive together. <laughs> Hello, Paracone of Steve. Drive safe. That's pretty funny. Oh, yeah. Ozzy, I want you guys to watch my court speech for sure. Someone said crybaby. <gasps> if you said crybaby, that means... That's a really good question. I don't know. We'll run a pull. <coughs> Someone said that to you. My sweet, sweet, who did that to you? Aww. And then Toby says, I think she's manic. Toby, did someone give you negative evaluations of you? And did somebody give those evaluations to you? And I wonder what it was like receiving that because it's not very relational. And I wonder what it's like to hear me say that I want to connect deeper with you and I want to know what's alive for you when you say, I wonder if she's manic. Because the way you're acting. When you visualize me as being manic, I'm wondering if you're feeling curious. Right. And I'm wondering if you're needing or longing for more clarity are you longing for more see it doesn't give a lot of information to me about how to make life more wonderful when you give an evaluation who what 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 is it it doesn't give a lot of information to you who what it's also disconnecting because when someone gives us a negative evaluation what does it tell us it tells us i don't like you or i don't like this or i don't understand or it's it's, it's just almost kind of like a, a, dis, a dismissive comment. It's a disconnection. It's not a relational comment. It's not like an invitation for more information or to collaborate. An invitation to more information. That could be like, what was that song? consternation what there was like about vowels or something um something something what i can't remember but it used to come on every morning before school right or to learn and grow it's not even connecting so we have to ask, what is the intention? If someone comes up to us nah, hold and on. they're saying, I'll I'll bah, 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 bah. Da, da, da. like, is your intention to disconnect? Because if your intention is to disconnect, let's go ahead and disconnect. Let's save our, ourselves this part. Is your connection to connect with me? Because it's not working. This is turning me off. This is turning me away. I don't want to be your friend after this. Is is your connection, is your intention to influence me? It was a song about grammar called Conjunction Junction. <laughs> it's a conjunction junction. What's your function? Hooking up words, phrases, and clauses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's the song I'm thinking of. I can't remember why I was thinking of it because I think that's what she was. I don't know. I have short term memory loss, so I forget why we were looking that up. In which case, like, are you want, is your intention and deep longing, like, you're wanting to bring positive change to the world? 
are you wanting to help me? Is your intention to contribute to me in some way? See, Ke Kelly got it. Yep, Kelly, you got it. You got it before me. Yes, and also Shadow Sandy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hell yeah, you guys got it. You, you're picking up on pun down. Is your intention to harm me? And in which case you have to check in with your intention because if your intention is to contribute, that's going to be an elevating experience for you. But then you need to ask the person what they want, in which case do I have your consent to give you an evaluation, right? Because otherwise I'm not going to receive it. So let's be geniuses and let's not be like little children. Like, because then what you're saying, is it really valuable? Is it changing hearts? Or if your intention is to harm, and if your intention... I don't know what Citizen Cope is. I don't know a lot of things, though. Um, I'm surprised I remember that song. If your intention is to disconnect, then just get off the live stream and just disconnect. And check in with your intention. Just do it. If something's boring, if it's not appealing, if you don't like it. Oh, she said like intention invention or some shit. Some shit that rhymed. That rhymed. That's why. That's why I was like that up. If, it, if you give it your attention, you're helping it grow and expand. If your intention is to learn and grow, then be curious. If you criticize and put it down, you're less likely to learn. And if you want to go against it, then... She kind of looks like Michael Jackson a bit here. Do you think he looks like Michael Jackson? Just a little bit. Like if we took away the hair, very black. I never saw that before. Do you guys think... I wish I could do side by side pictures. First, befriend it so you can learn more about it. Don't attack it. You don't learn from attacking, you learn from being curious. So, I just want us to be masters and alchemizers and creators. Alchemists. It'd be an alchemist, not an alch alchemizer. Alchemizers and manifestors. I want us to be powerful because we are powerful. So if you guys are gonna give me your evaluation, I'm gonna invite you in to be a God and act like a God and then I'll worship you. But if you act at the level that you're in, I'm not gonna be able to treat you like a God because you're not at that level yet, right? Gods don't sit there and be like, yeah, yeah. like gods don't do that. Gods don't like spit out evaluations. Um, if you want to give wisdom, share wisdom, share the wisdom from, from yourself. Like, I don't ever claim to know anything. And this is a constant reminder. I'm not like, dis I'm not like saying this before every video, but it's assumed because I'm always, you know, mentioning this and reminding those who listen to me. I don't claim to know anything. It's the best part about being me. Because if I don't claim to know anything, like I'm not here to teach. I am simply- I'm here to learn. I learned. That's what Joe Biden said one time. We're here to unite us and to awaken us. And by awaken, I just claim to know that we're lovable no matter what. So by awakening you, I'm just saying you're lovable no matter what. Just keep telling yourself how lovable you are and just relax, focus on your breath. That's it, everything's gonna be beautiful. You're so lovable. After awakening, the second thing I'm here to do is bring us together, unite. That's it. Oh, we were praying? She did the Heather thing where I didn't know, I didn't fucking know we were praying, but okay, amen, yeah. So. Cordes, if you want to do my YouTube channel and commodify it, um, I will give you the sign-in information we can do some kind of like that no no don't do that what are you crazy you could make someone like a channel manager like where they could manage they could do pretty much everything except delete your whole channel and lock you out of it why the fuck would you give someone your login information are you crazy are you crazy daisy daisy's a little crazy contract whatever and um not, you know, like, we'll have some kind of agreement. We'll figure something out. But you should just... You're in L.A. No, not L.A. You're in California. Someone must know what the fuck they're doing down there. They can guide you. He's on, like, all of my live streams. 
we'll figure something out. I, she doesn't want to monetize it. I think she just li she literally just wants to modify it. I just like spruce it up or something. I think she's like, I don't want to put ads on or anything else. But if we can find someone who wants to edit the channel, and we'll figure out some kind of agreement where this person's editing my channel, and like I could post the videos, and they're copyright, and we don't make money on it. And then we can post videos where we do make money and we do monetize. And um, I think that would be cool. And then those are like edited and look really good. And, and then I want to start filming from Prism, which is like. From Prism? This videotaping thing for live streamers. And it makes. Oh, Prism. Why Prism? I guess that's like for IRL streamers. Actually, I think use Prism a lot. Picture, and this is so weird. You guys should you guys should go run Daisy's channel for her. She's willing to give out her fucking password. Camera and everything perfect. Because if your camera's moving around and stuff, it just like fixes everything. So. No, that's uh, what is that called? A gimbal. You want a gimbal, not a. Uh, a what? Why does she think Prism is gonna fix that? This is just all very interesting to me now. This is how she's like. This is how we're gonna run the channel. Okay. That's what's up. Yeah, I thought she said Prism. I love you guys so much, Ozzy. I love you so much. And I, people who are like asking about OnlyFans. I think, yeah, well, before she's like, I don't want to monetize anything. But now that she's like, we could monetize some videos. Yeah, I think she meant, yeah, you're right. You're right, CD Rom. Stuff like that. Um, I'm a guru, and I know I'm beautiful. You're beautiful, too, inside and out. We're all beautiful. But I do not, you know, I used to do stuff because of my looks for a long, my whole life. <laughs> That's how I made my money and now i'm not doing things on my looks anymore so no i don't have any fans and stuff i have my friend yogi eggs crystals to put up their lady parts okay i never heard of those and i have no social media although i'm thinking about getting an instagram because my phone number is always public and I guess what's cool is I don't blow up with messages like people who really want to get maybe like she just needed to get this all out of her system before she showed up at the courthouse because she's too crazy. But I think Jill was saying that she got kicked out. So she didn't mission not accomplished. They know that they just have to look at my YouTube channel and that my phone number will be in the title of one of the first videos. So people who want to reach me know how to reach me. You had to tell them not. To. Don't put these up your uh, JJ. Okay? Okay, these aren't made for that. That's crazy. Yeah, I'll Google them. So, I'm going to end this live stream. We're six minutes. She yeah, She's done anyway, so. In the courthouse. So, Bong is not going to rip itself. <laughs> the judge is not going to superhero himself. He needs a lasso of love to expose his truth. And I brought my lasso of love. It's right here. It's tied to my boobs. So when I go in the courtroom, I'm going to take my lasso of love off and untie it right here. Whoosh, and I'll be like, whoosh, 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 whoosh. my lasso of love compels you. Whoosh, my lasso of love compels love from you. Yeah, is that it's the plan? Be so fun! I'm really excited. Mm -hmm. Direct him. Mm -hmm. Dun dun dun. Are we dun, done, dun, Daisy? Dun, like, dun, what are you doing? Dun. There's 30 seconds left. Let's see if it says anything else. And then I got yoni eggs up on the other one. Dun, 
All right, guys, I love and release you. Um, come and see me in Venice. Don't I'll give you the password to my YouTube channel. Donate to my tiny home, my multi-use vendor card GoFundMe, and let's create a better world. I love you guys. I release you. Have a beautiful day. She was a Reiki healer, so I thought they were healing crystals. Kind of, I guess. Oh, you, your ex? All right. Check. Let's check to check, 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 to check it out. We'll work, work, work it out. Got to make this window a bit bigger. Okay. Well, is this what I want? Hold on. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. Remember that song? Guy? Oh, God damn. We need that song back. In our lives. All right. So yoni eggs are egg-shaped gems, typically made from quartz or jade. They can be. Uh, they can also be made from other stone materials. Fans of these eggs claim they provide numerous reproductive and sexual health benefits. Ugh. Now, what is the purpose? Inserted into the vajayj to improve sexual health, strengthen for pelvic floor, and increase. Sexual satisfaction, also known as Yanni eggs, the jade eggs were popularized in recent years by the lifestyle brand Goo. Oh, that's fucking what's her face's Macameo thing. Um, what the fuck is her name? Gwyneth Paltrow. Uh, it's a scam. She sells like thirty dollars stickers that are supposed to cure cancer or some shit. She's like she's like Maddie R, kinda, but like I mean, she might be stupid. Like she might think um, she might believe her own crap. So I don't know. I'd assume not, but anyways, uh, which claim the eggs could aid sexual wellness. Crazy, crazy. Anyways, oh, that is it for tonight. Uh, da, 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 da. What am I doing here? I'm doing this. All right, guys. I <laughs> I'll see y'all tomorrow. It's Friday tomorrow, which means it's Heather's Heather's day. Heather's day in the sun of what you call it madness. She's a hotel fucking indoor cat, so all we see is her milking. Milking, probably. Oh, wait, no, there's that live stream. Let's see if we can go grab that. Not right now, but tomorrow. Bye, guys. I'll see you. I'll see you on the other side. And thank you to JT and Cat Johnson for becoming members. I love you guys, and I'll see you when I see you next time. Tomorrow, if you're there. Bye.